A pyrogeometer is a device that measures near-surface infrared radiation spectrum in the wavelength spectrum approximately from 4.5 micrometers to 100 micrometers. It measures the resistance – voltage changes in a material that is sensitive to the net energy transfer by radiation that occurs between itself and its surroundings, which can be either in or out. By also measuring its own temperature and making some assumptions about the nature of its surroundings it can infer a temperature of the local atmosphere with which it is exchanging radiation. These instruments generally have no spectral frequency, wavelength measurement capabilities, they use a single non-frequency resolved resistance, voltage measurement. They are constructed to be sensitive to the infrared radiation spectrum that extends approximately from 4.5 micrometers to 100 micrometers, thus excluding the main shortwave solar spectrum. Since the mean free path of IR radiation in the atmosphere is approximately 25 meters, this device typically measures IR flux in the nearest 25-meter layer. Topic. Pyrogeometer components A pyrogeometer consists of the following major components A thermopile sensor which is sensitive to radiation in a broad range from 200 nanometers to 100 micrometers A silicon dome or window with a solar blind filter coating it has a transmittance between 4.5 micrometers and 50 micrometers that eliminates solar shortwave radiation. A temperature sensor to measure the body temperature of the instrument. A sun shield to minimize heating of the instrument due to solar radiation. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Measurement of long wave downward radiation. The atmosphere and the pyrogeometer in effect its sensor surface exchange long wave IR radiation. This results in a net radiation balance according to E N E T equals E I N minus E O U T Display style E underscore mathem net equals E underscore mathem in E underscore mathem out where E N E T Display style E underscore mathem net net radiation at sensor surface W per square meter E I N Display style E underscore mathem in long wave radiation received from the atmosphere W per square meter E O U T Display style E underscore mathem out long wave radiation emitted by the sensor surface W per square meter the pyrogeometer's thermopile detects the net radiation balance between the incoming and outgoing long-wave radiation flux and converts it to a voltage according to the equation below. E N E T equals U E M F S Display style E underscore mathem net equals frac U underscore mathem EMF S where E N E T Display style E underscore mathem net net radiation at sensor surface W per square meter U E M F Display style U underscore mathem EMF thermopile output voltage V S display style S sensitivity calibration factor of instrument V W per square meter the value for S display style S is determined during calibration of the instrument. 
The calibration is performed at the production factory with a reference instrument traceable to a regional calibration center. To derive the absolute downward long wave flux, the temperature of the pyrogeometer has to be taken into account. It is measured using a temperature sensor inside the instrument, near the cold junctions of the thermopile. The pyrogeometer is considered to approximate a black body. Due to this it emits long wave radiation according to E O U T equals sigma T 4 display style E underscore mathem out equals sigma T carrot 4 where E O U T Display style E underscore mathem out. Long wave radiation emitted by the Earth's surface W per square meter. Sigma. Display style sigma. Stefan Boltzmann constant with m squared k four. T. Display style T. Absolute temperature of pyrogeometer detector kelvins. From the calculations above the incoming long wave radiation can be derived. This is usually done by rearranging the equations above to yield the so-called pyrogeometer equation by Albrecht and Cox. E I N equals U E M F S plus sigma T four display style e underscore mathem in equals frac u underscore mathem emf s plus sigma t caret four, where all the variables have the same meaning as before. As a result, the detected voltage and instrument temperature yield the total global long wave downward radiation. Topic. Usage Pyrogeometers are frequently used in meteorology, climatology studies. The atmospheric long-wave downward radiation is of interest for research into long-term climate changes. The signals are generally detected using a data logging system, capable of taking high-resolution samples in the millivolt range. Topic. See also Paranometer Radiometer